I got I got a hundred thousand dollars on Hans. <laughs> oh shit. Tony, let me borrow a hundred thousand dollars real quick. <laughs> I got a million on Han, so I'll let you borrow it afterwards. Say less, so, nigga. No. Fuck Rick Diaz. I'll Look. kill him. All right, what's that? These people, you're 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 corrupting the vote. It's the audience that decides. Give a damn about that, nigga. Just, just the black vote ruining another election. <laughs> David Jolly, you around here? Send them up. I think a whole lot of words in the English language got a bad break. Like some words used to be racist, but they're not racist no more because we don't know what the fuck they mean. But they fun words I think everybody should be able to use. Like the word jigaboo. I don't know what the fuck a jigaboo is. I can't even get mad at that word, you know what I mean? That shit sounds like a term of endearment. If I walk out here right now and an old white man walk up to me and say, hey, how you doing today, jigaboo? I'm gonna say, well, jigaboo to you, good sir. Cause I don't know what the fuck it means. You can't hurt me with that word, you know? If you ask me, I think we should put that word in like the kids game or something. And if they like it, we just roll with it. You know what I mean? Like, let's put that motherfucker in Pokemon. <laughs> I choose you, Jigaboo. Some big black motherfucker come out, crip walking and shit. <laughs> fucking throwing game signs. Hey, y'all shut the fuck up. I got one minute, motherfucker. God damn, let me finish the joke. So, y'all good white people? Will y'all go to work on Tuesday and you eat your cheese sandwich? Keep going, keep going. Uh, and you eat your cheese sandwich? I know about the fucking cheese sandwich, Mike. You thought I ain't nobody cheese sandwich. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hey, brother. You just wanted to... Oh shit. All right, all right, all right, all right. This is chaos. David, how do you feel? That was fantastic. Hell yeah, I feel good. Appreciate that. Cameron Targarud. I drove here from Minnesota, saw a lot of weird signs. I kept seeing, watch for ice on bridge, watch for ice on bridge. Why are there so many Mexicans on the fucking bridge? Yeah. <laughs> uh, how's Dayton going? Dayton's weird. There's only two types of girls that are into me. There's the ones that uh, drive a minivan, and there's the ones that drive a hearse. Good thing for me, they both look the same from the back. First time comedian ever. I love it, that was my next question. You're ahead of me on that one. First time a lot of things, it seems. What the oh, fuck yeah. are you? I'm really weird. I sell oddities for a living. Dead uh, animals, human skulls. I've sold over 50 human skulls. <laughs> Make a living working at this oddity shop? I do. Wow. Yeah. How much is the attraction of you? Oh, it's my dog. He's not here, but... Right. Your dog did... Your Me? Dog. No, I mean, I'm white. I don't know. Okay. You're what? White. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, brother. I know you got a lot wrong with you, but I'll tell you what, you are still white, brother. <laughs> Never give up, my white brother. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. Give up. <laughs> Jefe Flores, Jefe, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, shit. I'm on Big Tony. <laughs> I'm finding out I'm not the smart father. Um, I'm dumb. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Big Tony. <laughs> Do you know where you're at? No, I know. I watch your show all the time. I was just being silly. It was like okay. a... For sure. It's little throwaway. And how old are you? 37. Yo, you Yo, might be we... retarded. You might be Yo, retarded. I told you. You're 37? 37. You're joking. Not lying. Seriously. Seriously. No. I promise you. You have your ID on you? Yes. Let me see that fucking thing. What year were you born? 86. Oh my God, I believe All you. Right. Stop, put it away, put it away, put it away. 2023 guest of the year. This is a brand new minute from your very own Dr. Phil. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for coming out. Happy New Year. Uh, I've never done stand-up before, so bear with me. 
Hans Kim uh, has great one-liners. I'm just talking about the slits he calls his eyes. <laughs> All right, what else we got here? Wrote some stuff down. Okay. Hans Kim looks like if a scream mask was Asian. I thought that was pretty funny. Also true, which is why it's funny. Hit me with something, Mike. There it is. What else we got? Hans looks like he has genital fried lice. Sounded funnier on the drive over. Moving on. <laughs> Hans looks like he comes to the ad before the porn starts. I think we've all, we've all done that. Shane, there it is. Okay. Connecting. I'm connecting and then creating friendships. Uh, Hans, uh, what else? I don't know. I just, I just wrote fuck Hans here. <laughs> Ran out of ink. I still haven't forgiven Hans for breaking up the Beatles. I think we all... Uh, <laughs> yeah, one more time, Mike. Thank you so much. Let's move on to Rick Diaz. Uh, Rick, you know, his delivery is so dry. I'm always like, what style of comedy is that? Hans' girlfriend's pussy? Like, what? Why is it so dry? It's got to be a pussy, is what I mean by that. Uh, Rick looks like he has a cerebral palsy light, which means it's all the looks with none of the parking spots. That's funny. <laughs> Rick, you're so frail, you look like uh, what happens when a woman gets pregnant by pre-cum. <laughs> all right, that made me laugh. That was good. I'm a fan of that one. I'll probably say that again to myself tonight. Most people don't know I played college football. Uh... But uh, it wasn't that impressive. It was before blacks were allowed in the league, so. Okay, that one split the audience. That's on me. What else? What else? Oh, I, I asked AI to write a joke for me. Do you guys want to hear it? I thought, because look, life is all about choices, and sometimes we don't uh, back up the choices we make, and we need a little help, so I thought I'd ask AI. And this is what AI came up with. This is AI, not me. Uh, Dr. Phil. AI wrote, Backstreet Boy Nick Carter's sister was just found dead uh, only one year after his brother Aaron's death. When asked how he felt about the situation, Nick said, I want it that way. So that's what AI said. That's an AI joke. You can Google it. David Lucas uh, looks like he fucks with his shirt on to cover his sports bra. That's pretty funny. <laughs> David Lucas, uh, what can I say about David Lucas that his downstairs neighbors haven't screamed at their ceiling already? <laughs> N-word, N-word, N-word. Um, da <laughs> David looks like he sniffs a girl's underwear just to see what she ate last. That's funny. Mike, there it is, right on cue, Mike. David looks like a police sketch that was drawn with coal. I think we've all uh, seen what coal is, so we know why that one works. David looks like his favorite position uh, is front of the buffet line. <laughs> I think that's it. Thank you so much. You guys are a lot of fun. Appreciate you. Wow! Do you guys mind if I freestyle rap and then I'll get the fuck out of here? 2023 was fun. But 2024 has just begun. Kill Tony Live is the move tonight. Gays and Jews are gonna have a good time. Tony Hinchcliffe created a beast while Brian Redman dealt with his yeast. Infection, erection, election, fake news, real booze. We're gonna get fucked up tonight. We're gonna get fucked up tonight. We're gonna drink all the drinks. We're gonna smoke all the smokes. We're gonna get fucked up tonight. You know why? Because Austin is the best and Hans Kim's pay for sex. Hans loves the pussy. He loves the feet. He loves the crack. And you know what it is. We'll be right back. Oh my god! Shiva, 
Amy. Back in the day, she used to clean the microphone during the pandemic at Antones. They used to think that wiping the microphone was going to help prevent the spread of Goodbye. an airborne disease, everybody. Goodbye, COVID. The great people over at Antones, everyone. Literally. If you've been there this year, kill yourself. Do me a favor. Absolute virtue signaling garbage people. I like being Indian, uh, except for uh, you don't really see a lot of Indian professional sports here. Uh, and I blame Nike for that. Nike clothing, you know, because they made those sweatshops in India, which I know sounds harsh, but just hear me out. I'm just saying, guys, imagine being Indian, working for Nike, and then seeing that Nike slogan day in and day out. Just do IT. It's a good joke, yeah, it's a good joke. Yeah, because if you don't know the Nike slogan, it's just do it with a period at the end. And what makes that joke just a lecture funny is that it just takes one more dot. All right, guys. Shiva Abu. Welcome. How long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, eight years. Eight, eight years, years. yeah. That? Uh, Dallas. Dallas. Okay. Dallas, Texas, yeah. I love it. Kind, kind of moved back here, but uh, living out of my car kind of shit, so... How does it feel? How's it going? Uh, I used to do that when I lived in Austin like 10 years ago. Yeah. Uh, feels about the same. So you say uh, you li you're living out of your car? Yeah, yeah. Ooh. What kind of car? Uh, Nissan Sentra. That's... Damn, that's the worst uh, what's your... <laughs> what's It's your pretty star? bad. What's your, uh... Uh, what's your star rating? My star rating? <laughs> yeah. No, actually, I did more Uber driving than the Eat. Yeah. That you, was... did, you actually did Uber drive? Yeah. I think every comic thinks it's going to help him out. And comic. yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. <laughs> you're right. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's either this or terrorism, I guess. So what we got to pick one. I think yeah. for real, I think, you, I, think, I think for real, you were very great and you've been very funny so far. Thanks. Mike Pack, ladies and gentlemen. You met and me then, in uh, Milwaukee. Yeah, I think, do you remember uh, West Hollywood? Are you starting but did you a guys conversation? Fucking kiss? Oh. Did you guys kiss? Neighbors. Yo. Did you guys kiss? Neighbors in West Hollywood. Whoa. We were neighbors? Yeah, kind of. You worked at the Starbucks by me. And remember that, that You worked at the Starbucks? Was, yeah, 2007. You're going, you're going deep. It's a venti, not a large. <laughs> 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 I stopped a, a big gay queen from trying to beat you up in a... When you were managing that Starbucks. Big gay guy tried to fuck you up? Yeah, oh, what what I happened? I told you about this in, in Milwaukee. What? I told you about this in Milwaukee. I don't know if you remember. You stopped a what? Some guy was trying to beat you up. Big what type of guy? What type of guy? A big gay queen. At, a, at, a, at the Starbucks on, in West Hollywood. Do you remember? We talked about this in Milwaukee, no? I don't remember. Can you yeah, remind me? What did what you do? What the fuck is happening? Okay, what did you do in Milwaukee? Maybe I'm losing my mind. We're about to find out. I literally don't fucking remember. You guys kiss in Milwaukee? Excuse me? Did you and Tony, Big Tony, kiss in Milwaukee? Big, big Tony. <laughs> no, uh, I, was, I was at his show, and I was the only one he, he called out. I was wearing an American flag out hat, and he called me a fag. There you go. I think we hung out a little bit. I think really I nice. said it funnier. Way better. And did you just say, and then we hung out? Yeah, we hung out the hotel. What are you, what are you talking about? You hung out about? the hotel? Ask, ask Christy and Yoni. Ask Christy it, and Yoni. Explain yeah, to me. There. Oh, you were waiting in the lobby. You were with somebody that yeah. I actually know. Who were you with? Uh, my gay friend, the gay Jew friend. But how do I know? No! How do I know him? Oh, uh, we, well, we met, the, we met, he met you that night. There's a fucking connection, though. There's yeah. a connection here. Yeah, a And fucking, you're not saying A butt it. connection? Oh, no, no. Yes, I'm super gay. Thank you, Shane. Yes, I butt Dang fucked wow. this guy. Hold on, you don't understand why this is hilarious? Yeah, totally. No, I do. <laughs> It's All right, so, so you creepy. met Tony in a hotel lobby with your gay friend, and then you guys hung out. <laughs> we hung out in the lobby. How long did we hang out for? Can you give me a About ballpark? About 25 minutes. 20, 25 minutes. <laughs> yeah. I hung out with you for 25 minutes. Tom, Tom, is that right? Tommy, gay Tommy, stand up. <laughs> Tell him it's Were we true. with a large group <laughs> of people? Yeah, no, it's just you, you, I, and Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> what did we do for 25 minutes? You guys minutes? were on fucking I suck, Tony. You, I was talking about <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, you guys ready for a special fucking treat? I present to you. That was you in Milwaukee. <laughs> <laughs> Dead.
David Lucas. Tony, you look like a limo driver for gay niggas. You're the one that's stretched black. <laughs> Let's fucking go. You think you're gonna get me in an arena, dude? Nigga, Tony, boy, you look like a gay Klansman, nigga. Put that hood on. Wow. Well, I basically, anytime I'm around you, I feel like a gay clan. Yeah, boy, you look, like a, you look like a gay gallon of milk, nigga, your ass. <laughs> that shit full of semen, nigga. <laughs> oh, my God. Why you put on white, bitch? You about to get baptized, nigga, your ass. They dipped that nigga in the water booty first, boy. Put this. You're the only, you were the only kid to get baptized with his T-shirt still on. <laughs> wearing a Rocky shirt, is yeah. that because uh, the road is your favorite type of ice cream? <laughs> look at Tony looking like a nigga that Michael Jackson touched. Oh shit, oh shit, here we go. <laughs> this your shit, this killed Tony. Yeah. But right now it's David fucking Lucas, you know what I'm saying? All right, absolutely. <laughs> I need an agent, I need a manager, man. Oh my Time God. Time doing these black comedy To clubs. manage what, your weight? <laughs> <laughs> I want to <laughs> Don't Tony look like he do valet at Cheesecake Factory? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you would know what the valet guys at Cheesecake Factories look like. <laughs> yeah, bro, that HIV medicine got you turning red, nigga. What the fuck going on? Oh, up? my God. You, you <laughs> son of a bitch. Are you wearing a Selena shirt because you always get shot with insulin? <laughs> Look like a Christmas wrap dildo. All right, oh, oh. all right. How dare you? <laughs> you look. <laughs> you look like what Santa puts in the stockings of the bad kids. <laughs> you look like you host a game show called Coming Out of the Closet. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> you look like you host a game show called Meal or No Meal. <laughs> Hold this for a second. What is that? Man? Hold this. That's this a regular size book, <laughs> you fat fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Hitchcliffe in this bitch. Burt Kreischer look like he smelled like air freshener and bologna. Boy, get your mother. <laughs> when I was in high school, my mom was getting her GED. <laughs> and, and now get, you're getting your KFC. <laughs> and tonight you're going to get a BBC. <laughs> yeah. I just want to thank Tony, thank Red Band. We uh, thank you, my friend. We absolutely love you. You have well, you, very much earned. Not easy to do to go toe-to-toe -to -toe every week. You've taken more roast jokes than anybody in the history yeah. of the show. William and Michael Lair, Hall of Fame members that have always been quite protected. You've literally shown your fucking, literally, your thick yeah. skin. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> I can still roast even when I'm fucking emotional, you fucking fag. I've never seen you lose this much water weight. <laughs> Only time you lose weight is when a nigga take his dick out of your ass. You son of a bitch, get you, out of here. You Paxton Gobin, everybody. Hey everybody, I'm uh, from Indiana, the boonies, Brownstown. Uh, I had to drive here with my family 17 hours all the way down and uh, well, first off, I have six, seven other siblings, so my dad's a bit of a man whore. And he, days before we were about to come, uh, he ripped his dick in half. Your dad ripped his dick? Is that what you said? Yeah. That's an actual thing? That that way? Is your dad here? Yeah, they're all No, here. he's not. Yeah, they're here. They're here. Are you serious? Where there's four of us. My, my older... Did your did your dad sign up? Yeah. Are you yeah. fucking serious? I'm not All right. Well, I'm sick of you. Say your dad's name. Bruce Gobin. Did you prepare a minute for tonight? Kind of, but uh, he took some of my. Uh, oh. oh, look at that! The apple doesn't fall far from the old split tree over here. I, it was more around than split. Wow. It appears as though Section 122 has started a show that dick chant 
that is spread all the way through the room. I don't want to go to jail. Are you? Are you willing to? Are you? Are you willing to show us I your penis? Jail. Stand right here and just show us. Show the table. This way, the cameras don't cover it. Yeah, you don't have to look. You homophobe? No, you gotta look at this. I'm gonna make sure you're looking. Oh my god! Oh, hold on, go back over there. Go back over there. There is an actual fucking bandage wrapped around it. <laughs> How long ago was the dick split? We we can go today. <laughs> oh. That was fresh. I assumed that this was years or months ago. I didn't realize we it would be. It took me like 40 some years to tear the son bitch up, but I finally did it. <laughs> I've, never, I've never seen a dick in a cast. That was crazy. Yeah, tell me about it. I was scared to death. How, so did, you, you, how did you do that? Having sex. So Come on, like, seriously how, though. Having so sex like, with what? Huh? <laughs> what were you having sex with? Uh, Pussies are a hole. Five foot five. Did you face fuck a crocodile? <laughs> <laughs> seriously though, take us step by step. So you're fucking, and then what happens? Don't just say, "Well, I'll split my dick." Come on, well, take I us through the fucking. Was fucking, and then all of a sudden it was uh, a big pop. <laughs> yeah. Wait, you squirted? Uh, I, but t- I'll tell you what, I, uh, I knew I heard it, but I went ahead and finished, just to make sure that it still worked. <laughs> it took me a few minutes to finish, but yeah, about probably five minutes. So you heard a pop, you just kept fucking, you didn't look at it. You no, didn't- I looked at it, we checked it out, and... And then you put it back in? And then I put it back in. Shut the fuck up. You don't seem like a hospital going guy. Yeah, it took a while. It had to get good and black and hurting before I went. How long was that? A couple days? Uh, Like, probably about eight hours. Eight hours. And it was very painful. Very painful. And you had a black penis. Yes. uh, I was sitting in the... uh, (laughs) You seem like the kind of guy that would not like to have a black penis inside of a woman that you're... Soda. Must have been nice though. Uh, well, it's all right for a minute. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, the colors come back. That thing's a minuscule dong. <laughs> no, nah, I'm joking. That was, as, that was that's about a, as big a, as I get hard. Yeah. <laughs> you got a good cock, dude. Obviously, you've got the IQ of 28. Your dick's huge. <laughs> did your dick explode from getting too hard, or did you hit like a divider? How did your dick explode? Was it blunt force trauma? How did your dick split? Because this is important for all of us. Oh, you didn't get that far up in the pussy. Stop it, dude. Oh, you hit, <laughs> you hit like a bone? Oh, and it bent? Yeah. You hit a dead end? Yeah, dead end. You hit a fork in the road? Fork in the road, bro. <laughs> you hit the old tailbone, the old median. <laughs> You're so much more interesting than your son. You ever think about splitting your fucking dumb son in half? (laughs) Now I'm afraid he'll turn black. (laughs) Let's go. Let's go. This is Kill Tony. Aaron Belial. A girl at a show the other day told me I look like Matt Reif, and I actually got offended on his behalf. I look like Matt Reif's twin brother after an abortion. In Canada, abortion is legal for 24 weeks, but if the baby has Down syndrome, it's so much later. You can do it for 24 years. (laughs) And if you make it to 25, Walmart offers you a job as a greeter. It's fucked up. Right now there's a baby with Down syndrome crowning in Canada, and there's a doctor with a mallet saying, there's still time. (laughs) How are you, Aaron? Fuck yeah, good, I bet. This is amazing. Never done anything like this before. This is an unbelievable honor. I'm so grateful, Tony. (laughs) Thank you, Tony. It's all because of you. You found me. You have great taste, an unbelievable eye for talent. 
Your instincts are absolutely mind-blowingly incredible. You're not gay at all. You're a hot guy. You're a womanizer, a stud, and a great human being. Polite, <laughs> nice. You just want me to suck your dick right now. <laughs> How the fuck did you type that that fast? Did you have that preloaded? Well, Tony, since the last time I was on the show, I've been accused of being a drug mule and molested multiple times by men. Mm. Welcome to my world. Were they in Milwaukee? <laughs> yeah, let it go, dude. Do doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I get recognized a lot more these days. One guy was like, aren't you that retarded guy from Kill Tony? I was like, first of all, we don't use that word. And secondly, his name is Red Band? <laughs> Yes. Hell yeah. The left is fucking... It's like politics. The right side's cool and the left is fucking crooked and janky. Hey, that's a good... That's a, that's a, who, loves, who loves conservatives? <laughs> All right. Okay. You guys are so cool. <laughs> Shane, you were actually my biggest inspiration as a comedian right up until I found out you weren't really retarded. <laughs> Oh shit, look at that. Aaron Belial, you've done it again. Absolutely unbelievable. And here we fucking go. Rick Diaz. I went to a club and a lady slipped some pills in my drink. Vitamin D and iron. I almost fell from a building. I wasn't brave enough. I have stopped watching porn. It's memorized. I went to donate blood and apparently you're not supposed to bring it in your own plastic bag. I have a little cat, and when I lay down on my couch, he comes and cuddles me, and sometimes he jumps right on my balls. It's so painful. It took me six months to train him. <laughs> Over the course of a lifetime, the average human being takes 800 million decisions. 800 million decisions! So of course we're gonna take a few bad ones, and that's how I get laid. Thank you very much. All right, a minute 17. One minute 17 seconds. We held back the bear out of respect for a golden ticket winner. I, I went long on purpose because Hans keeps going short for the last few months. Oh my God. <laughs> These guys, what you're seeing is real. Hans Kim! You know, a lot of people nowadays are saying that squirting is just pee. Fuck that bullshit. I think peeing is just squirting. I caught my girlfriend squirting in the toilet the other day. I was like, you slut? For a toilet? It's because it's white, isn't it? The audience will decide. We've gone with Mexican drum off rules for this. No one comedian, no people, any uh, word, any commentary from our esteemed panel, Shane Gillis and Matt McCusker. Who got us. more laughs in that one minute? Who do, you, well, who do you think? Who do I know? It's not who do I think. Yeah, who? All right, I guess we'll see. <laughs> All right. Rick. <laughs> okay. Shane says Rick Diaz. Matt McCusker. Things are heating up, ladies and gentlemen. The energy is absolutely... It was close. It was very close. 
but I truly thought the muscles from Brussels brought the heat. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Shit, I money. Oh, my God. We'll go in order of, of when they performed. This is it. How many of you have Rick Diaz winning this? Oh, shit. Okay, okay, stop. Stop. This is that moment. How many of you have Hans Kim winning? Fuck them. But I will say this. It's a rig system. It's a crooked system. Sugar Sean, you want to award him? Give him the word. Rick Diaz, you have lost your golden ticket. How do you feel right now? Feels all right. I feel like I won tonight either way. I love that. I love this fucking show. Thank you for having me. Thank you for the opportunity. I love Hans either way. He's Bye. Excited, but I don't. Bye. Boring. Go back to your fucking Instagram. Bye. <laughs> Go back to having a chip on your shoulder, bro. Make some noise for the king of YouTube, the one and only Mr. Beast. I brought ten thousand dollars out here, <laughs> and we're. We're gonna bring all the bucket pulls back on stage and let you pick which one of them wins 10 grand. How many of you have uh, our first comedian, Cameron Tagarud here? Ooh, that's a lot of noise. Oh yeah, why, don't, why doesn't our referee go hand over the head? Uh, how about David Perez? Okay, David's definitely out. Okay, how about uh, Jefe Flores Hef? Ooh, he is out. Oh, my good friend from Milwaukee. <laughs> Make some noise. Milwaukee's best. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got Mike Pack? Oh, no chance, Mike Pack. It was a rough night for Bucket Bulls. How about Paxton Gobin? Uh-oh. How about, how about his father? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> Who's got Michael Veramontes? <laughs> <laughs> Who's got Shiva Ari? Fuck that. Ladies and gentlemen, destiny has spoken. That is a real $10,000 in a briefcase. You cannot make how, this up. How, he went from make, sitting in the stands. How, how yeah. he, are you going to share it with your son? Because he's while you're up here? Absolutely, absolutely. yeah. We're going to split this up. That's funny. <laughs> I feel kind of bad because he was saying he was living out of his car earlier. He chose the guy with the broken penis. <laughs> make some noise for Red Band's girlfriend of over 10 years, the one and only Janice Min. Is it just me or are the ceilings like way too high in here? Sometimes I can't tell if someone is trans or just from the Midwest. I don't think numerical age is a really good indication of age. I think uh, spell, spelling ability is better. For example, if you know how to spell diarrhea without spell check, you're in your 30s. If you know how to spell hemorrhoids, you're in your 40s. I've been in my 40s since I was 12. What do you guys think of Red Band's girlfriend? Any anything? She's hot. Oh, Sugar Sean. 
love it. I love that sugar thinks you're hot. You've been sleeping next to a bag of sugar for 10 years, so <laughs> the switch might be easy. Sorry, sorry, Sugar Sean. I like my guys with a little meat on them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, queen. <laughs> Did Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast bring you in a briefcase? <laughs> Mr. Beast, what do you think of Janice's performance? I was just more curious, how long have you guys been dating? Seven years. Seven and a half years. Oh, seven. Ooh, you guys started dating in the year of the rat. <laughs> 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 Mr. Beast, how bad do you want to bring water to her village? <laughs> <laughs> You know, I actually, I, I, uh... I've been thinking about this, Janice. Hey, I don't think happening? you need to change anything. I love you. Will you marry this old fuck? You're going to be the one that has all of his stuff in two years when he has a heart attack anyway. So sit right there. How do you feel? You know, I've always said that if I ever see someone get proposed to on Kill Tony, I'd be like, that would, I feel bad for that girl. <laughs> Real quick, what if we gave the people of Gaza casinos? Would they... Would they accept gambling establishments as sort of a truce? On behalf of Israel, I'd like to present to the people of Gaza the Sandcastle Casino run by Chief Plane on Fire. I love it. Where did you get this kind of attire, William? Red what Band. You, what, what, Red are you, what, are you, what are you wearing? <laughs> oh my gosh, no. Red Band actually gave me a $1,000 gift card for anthropology for Christmas, but the one stipulation was I had five minutes to pick out a fucking outfit. So this is what I got. Maybe next year, Red Band, you can give me fucking 10 minutes, you bitch. Speaking of Red Band, I don't hey, know. Hey, keep my man's name out your fucking mouth. Oh, shit. Oh. Janice. Janice, why? You know I can't stand your fucking ass, Janice. Why would you even say that? It's fucking New Year's Eve, bitch. We, we fucking love you guys to death. You're the, truly the best comedy fans on planet Earth. Love love you guys. I love you guys. Dude, I have sex with every, every single guy in here. Dude, I love you guys. <laughs> I was thinking the exact same thing. We love you guys. Thank you. Good night, everybody.